Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, it's something that I'm gonna have to do anyway, so I figured I'd go ahead and record it. Um, I need to dye my hair, I need to tint my eyebrows, um, so I figured I would show you guys how I do that. Um, and I dropped my tweezers, my good tweezers, down um, underneath my mirror, so my eyebrows are a little bad anyways. Um, so I dug them out and I figured I would just go ahead and do everything um, and show you guys how to do it. I will be using um, the Garnet hair dye. It's the shade 10. Um, I normally use Sally's hair dye, but when the quarantine was going on and they were closed, I used the L'Oreal kind um, from Myers, and I really, really liked it. So I figured I would just use that, um, but they didn't have it. So I just went ahead and got this. So first, I'm going to tweeze and shape my eyebrows and trim them. And um, then <clears throat> I have this little bowl. I'm just going to put the hair dye in the bowl and I'm going to put it on my eyebrows with my brush. Um, this is a super, super, super old angled eyebrow brush. This is what I use um, every time I tint them. I honestly don't even know what kind it is. I've had it for so, so long. So right now I'm just tweezing my eyebrows and I'm mainly just doing like the little hairs growing around my eyebrows. I'm not doing a whole lot to the shape. And these tiny little tweezers, I've had these same tweezers for like three or four years. <laughs> so every time I do my eyebrows, those are the tweezers I use. <clears throat> They're the best tweezers I have. I got another pair of good tweezers that were super, super pointy, and I liked them a lot. But when I was using them one day, I dropped them on the mirror, and, like, I guess the tip broke off. So now they don't touch all the way together. So now I can't even use them. And I seriously have to pluck my eyebrows like every single day. <laughs> they look fine when I look in the mirror and then I'll hold my flashlight up and there will be like so many. I'm so excited for you all to see what they look like. I feel like there's always got to be that one person that's this is just going to absolutely bother them to their core that I'm using hair dye on my eyebrows and they're just going to not be able to fight the urge to say something but like I said if you are not comfortable doing this more power to you if you want to get you some real eyebrow tint you can follow this exact same video with real eyebrow tint. But like I said, I've been doing this for a super long time, and um, I haven't ever had any problems. And it really does make such a big difference. I was having such a hard time with the brush and those scissors. It's like... I do this all the time, but then every time I start recording, it's like I totally forget what I'm doing. <laughs> I've been meaning to do this, this video for a long time, but the last time I did it, I hurried up and dyed my hair and my eyebrows and then I didn't even think until after I got done like damn I could have recorded this and I needed to do it yesterday for my referral appointment anyways so I figured why not record it and that way I can have two videos to upload 
I'm trying my hardest to be consistent for you guys. Um, you know, I do have two kids, <clears throat> and I do have a wife, so some of these, the process that I have to go through, you know, first I have to put all of the video clips together, then I have to go and speed some up, and then I have to turn some down. The ones that I'm going to be doing a voiceover over, I have to turn those down. And then the ones where I'm talking, I have to turn those up so that it's loud enough where you can hear me. Um, sometimes I'll have to cut, cut part of the voiceover. I'm sorry, you guys. Coco is playing on her iPad and she keeps calling me from the Messenger app. So if my voiceover seems like it's kind of cutting off, it's because every time she calls, it cuts, it stops recording. And so then I have to pick up right where it left off. So you can see, first I held my eyebrow hairs up with the comb. And the parts that stuck up, I cut them on the top. Then I brushed them down. And the parts that were hanging down, I cut those at the bottom. And now I'm putting the dye on them with an eyebrow brush. And I'm seriously just filling them in with the hair dye like I would, you know, um, eyebrow makeup. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, like I said in the video, normally I just do my whole entire eyebrow with the dye on it. And um, then I'll go back afterwards and pluck them and shape them. And um, I don't even, you know, I don't care. The only place I really go to is the tanning bed. So I'll go on to the tanning bed with the dye still on there, you know, like still on my skin. But for the purpose of this video, I felt like, you know, I would <laughs> try to make it nice and neat. And they turned out so, so, so super good. I mean, they look really, really good. You can see after I've got the dye all on them that it is a little bit uneven. But like I said, that's okay. You know, plus eyebrows are supposed to be sisters and not twins. So I've got my good eyebrow, which is my eyebrow on my left. And then I've got my not so great eyebrow on the right. And um, once the dye is off your skin, you know, it's not going to... It doesn't look as uneven as it did with the, all the dye caked on there, if that makes sense. I'm so glad that I'm able to do this right now so that I can hurry up and get this video uploaded. So today is Tuesday, so that means I'll upload it tonight before I go to bed. And it'll be on there tomorrow, Wednesday morning. But because today is Tuesday, most of y'all know that it's the first day of NTI. And so everything went good this morning. You know, I had Rayla all set up in my vanity with my laptop, her iPad, um, my old iPhone, her little notebooks, everything she needed. And so she's on the video chat, and Coco's on the iPad, and now they're playing, but we got all these restriction, restrictions on it, so Coco's throwing a fit, because it's not letting her get on YouTube, so I have to go in there and help her figure out how to get that restriction off there. I walk back into Rainy, and the video meeting is done, and I'm like, okay, what do you do now? And she's like, I don't know. So, um, literally, I done wrote her teacher twice, asking her, hey, you know, what do we do now? Brenda didn't catch that. I was in the other room, and she still hasn't wrote me back. So, I'm literally just sitting here twiddling our thumbs until we're waiting for her to let us know what to do. Wasting all this time. So, the girls are in the kitchen eating breakfast, and I'm trying to get some stuff done. I'm sure y'all heard that. They're running through the hallways now. I guess they're done with their breakfast. Their second breakfast of the day, mind you. My spoiled kids.
Okay guys, so I've got the hair dye on my eyebrows and I totally forgot to even say yes, I'm tinting my eyebrows with um, drugstore hair dye. I do this every single time I dye my hair. Um, my roots aren't really that bad right now. I really didn't have to do it yet, but um, I have a lip filler appointment on Thursday that I will be recording. So, you know, I wanted to make sure that my roots looked good and my eyebrows this makes a huge, huge, huge difference. Um, I go to the tanning bed. The tanning bed will like make my eyebrows turn kind of blind, um, especially like the little um, thin hairs around them. And it drives me nuts and it makes me look like I have no eyebrows. <laughs> so um, I do this every couple of weeks and I swear it makes them look so much better. I'm not even gonna lie though, normally I don't do them um, this neat. Normally I just throw it on there and normally I dye them first and then I pluck them. And um, so normally I just throw it all over because it's easier to see all the hairs when they're all dark. And um, that way I can get a better idea of the shape that, you know, which uh, hairs I need to pluck and which ones I need to leave. Um, and you don't have to leave it on long, but I normally leave it on the entire time that I'm um, dyeing my hair. And um, <clears throat> then I'll wipe it off like right before I'm about to um, wash out the hair dye. So I'm gonna go, um, so I had to go ahead and mix it all up to do this video. So I'm gonna let them sit. I'm gonna go put the hair dye on my hair and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys how it looks. Um, <clears throat> once I take it, once I wipe it off, and um, then I'll get to my makeup video. So just in case y'all wanted to see, I figured I'd um, go ahead and show. So this is my hair before. I don't think you can really see on the camera, but my roots are starting to grow out just a tiny bit. Normally I'd wait longer, but like I said, you know, I've got the appointment coming up that I'm doing another video for, a part two, so I wanna make sure that everything looks nice. <laughs> Okay guys, I don't want to sit down. I don't want to get hair dye on anything. I just figured I'd show you all. I've got my hair dye in. I wiped off the um, uh, dye on my eyebrows. And what I like to do is I'll wipe it all off and then I look for any spots that maybe like didn't take as well as other spots that aren't as dark. And I'll put it back in those spots. So I do have a little bit on right now. Oh, this is uneven. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, but um, I'll show you guys the final look when it's all done. Hey guys, so I have dyed my hair and my eyebrows. I took a shower, I washed it out, I washed my face. Um, I left them sitting on for a really long time, so it's really dark. I messed up one little spot right here. It's a little bit higher, but um, normally I'll just leave it like this. You know, I'll even, if I have to go out places, I'm like, oh, well, whatever, and just leave it. But um, since I'm gonna do a makeup look and it'll look kind of silly like that, I'm gonna um, get it all off my skin. And I feel like I know there's gonna be that one person that's like, oh my gosh, you're using hair dye on your eyebrows. Like I would never do that. Um, but the great thing is, is that if you, you know, are not comfortable doing this, then you don't have to. Um, you know, this is totally up to you. I know other people that do it. And I've actually had eyebrow tint before. Um, it was the Eyler brand and I liked it a lot. Um, it lasted me forever and um, but I ran out of it, so I was gonna say something that I can't remember. I really liked it because, you know, when I use the hair dye, I have to do it every time I dye my hair. And sometimes, you know, I'll wait a while before I dye my hair again, but I'll need to do my eyebrows. And so that way I could do it in between times. Um, but I ran out and I haven't been able to find it. So this works too. So I got off as much of the dye off my skin as I could. I don't know if you'll be able to really see a difference on the camera, but they look really, really good. I'm going to take a screenshot of like the video before and put it side by side because I mean, they look oh, 
so much better. So um, that is the finished product. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys learned something. And like I said, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, you absolutely do not have to. Um, if you wanna go get some uh, actual eyebrow tint and use that, that will work too. Um, I've been doing this for like six years now and my eyebrows still grow. Um, you know, my skin is fine. It's never gotten in my eyes. So uh, let me know in the comments if you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.